welcome to You So You. My name's Zoe and this is my video series about all the crafting that I got up to. Um, I knit, I crochet, I'm starting to weave, I'm starting to spin, I'm starting to needle felt, I do a bit of cross stitch, um, I do a bit of dressmaking. So there's all sorts of stuff that you'll see on this channel. Um, you can follow me on Instagram as Zozy Mosey. I'm over on Ravelry as Zozy M and there is a group for the podcast there in the group tab just search for you so you um, I also have a written blog over at www.usoyou.com um, I tend to do um, show notes for mainly the monthly roundups so that'll be next weekend's um, which you can find on the blog and on the Ravelry group um, and I will be opening up a thread in Ravelry for this video um, if you wish to go and make any comments there as well as down below um, I found Ravelry is a bit easier for conversations between uh, people following me a podcast whereas YouTube is great for getting messages directly to me um, so without further ado I'm going to show you some of the things I've been working on this week um, things I'm hoping to get finished in time for Christmas um, which is obviously not that far away we are going away for Christmas um, I have now finished making my gift makes um, I did show you one a couple of weeks ago um, one of the four for my brother um, but I'm not going to show you the rest just in case um, he watches and doesn't follow instructions to look away. Um, um, we have also got our decorations up uh, now. That went up, they went up over the course of this week. Um, so my nativity scene is out. I'm a Gurumi crochet scene. I so far have Mary, Joseph, the angel, and the baby Jesus. Not the baby Jesus goes in the scene until Christmas Eve, as I'm a, I like the little bit traditional there, even though it's a slightly quirky nativity scene. Um, and one day I will get around to making the three wise men and the shepherds and the, the animals. I've had it for years. Um, I've got all the stuff, but I just haven't got around to it yet. Um, and on that note, um, let's get back down to the crafting content. Uh, so first of all, what am I wearing? This is the Winterfjell, which is a jumper pattern by Ellie of Skandir Knits. I have steeked it into um, a cardigan. Um, it's not perfect, but it's my first steak. It's the first time I've had to work out how many stitches to pick up for a button band. I picked up a few too many, which is why the but my button band tends to sort of stick up at the top and down at the bottom. Um, but nobody notices, so that's fine. Um, I know because I, I did it and I know the issues are there, but um, somebody who doesn't knit, and even some people who do, don't really notice, so it's fine. Um, and I will definitely be sticking some more things because it was a lot easier um, and a lot less scary than I thought it was going to be. So, what have I been working on? Um, well, not masses, to be fair. Um, there's a few projects I want to get off the needles before Christmas. There's a couple more projects that are on the needles that I want to get off fairly early into the new year. Um, and I do have a birthday knit to cast on for my other half, and his birthday is just before new year, so I, I do need to get cracking on that. But it's knitted in the flat, um, so I can do it on my straight needles, um, which means I don't need to clear any needles off to get that started. So hopefully I'll be casting that on in the next few days. Speaking of the other half, I do have, in what passes for a yarn bowl in my house, a project that I cast on last winter, uh, around about New Year-ish. Um, I did knit um, him a brioche hat in uh, black and grey acrylic. Uh, I don't tend to use an awful lot of acrylic. Um, but he's not really had any hand knits before so we were a little bit worried about it he is getting wool for his birthday jumper um, and he wanted black and grey so I'm not going to spend a fortune on black and grey yarn it's not that inspiring enough for me um, so living in my, my yarn bowl my post Christmas yarn bowl I may get, be getting some more this year you never know is a black and grey brioche scarf so I'd reached about that point um, last year so I've done in the past few days all of this which is not too bad um, I'm hoping that this line is going to block out where the needles have been sat in it for a year but we'll see it's a scarf it's going to be wrapped around his neck and tucked in his coat no one's going to see it um, I've not been slipping the edges I've actually been knitting the edge stitches to create this edge on it rather than a slip stitch edge um, and it's the first thing I cast on for brioche in the flat. I have done quite a lot of brioche since in shawls and things. Um, his hat was my first brioche project altogether. Um, so there's a lot of learning going on in this first part of the scarf. This stitch marker here is not a progress keeper. 
this stitch marker is there to show me what we think is going to be roughly a third of the length of the shawl. So just give me an idea of how much further I've got to go. Um, just because that's how my brain works. Um, so there we go, black and grey, acrylic, brioche, scarf. Or scarflet at the moment. Um, not the most inspiring, but I'll keep him warm. it keep him happy. And it's been on the needles for a year, so I really ought to get that finished. Um, so I'll pop that away back in the high-tech yarn bowl. The best thing about using chocolate tins and biscuit tins for yarn bowls, um, quite honestly, is the lid. Kitties now can't get in it. Bonus. Um, so yeah, that's my yarn bowl and, and my other half scarf. The next thing I'm going to show you is something that I really want to get off the needle so that I can cast on with some new yarn that I've bought that I'm really excited about casting on. Um, and it is my socks. They are living in my little grey bag. I keep forgetting the name of the maker. I know it's not Jibby Roo. And she did my drawstring bag and my notions pouch. Um, and she also put labels in. This one doesn't have a label in it, so I'm sorry I've forgotten the maker, but it is this lovely grey and white floral print and it's a nice clean white interior. Uh, socks, wedge, zip bag, it's fine. Um, so these are the socks that I am making up as I go along. They are in paint box yarns, they are two at a time toe up. So I've done my usual wedge toe. Um, I have experimented with uh, circular toe, which I quite like the fit of, but they're a bit of a faff to do. Um, the wedge is much easier. Um, so there's my toe. Um, I've got Vickle braid bands with texture stitches in between. I've attempted some diamonds there. Um, I've got some moss stitch. I attempted, but it really didn't work, a chevron there. I've got a better attempt at um, diamonds here. Another moss stitch band, and I need to think of something else to put in this band here. So I've got another texture band to do, and maybe another inch or so of stocking net or stocking stitch, depending on whether you're American or British. We call it stocking stitch in this country. And um, before I do the ribbing, um, the fit's okay. Uh, they're a little bit tighter than I normally knit my socks, um, but I think that's largely because I messed up the gusset increases on the heels, um, which is fine because it's just a an attempt first go and um, I have attempted eye of partridge on the heel flap hopefully you can see that there which has a lovely little texture and um, you can have a look at some photos of other heel flap socks to see how far the heel flap comes up because it seems quite quite short on me uh, but I do like the look of it um, so yeah, they're a little bit tighter, but they've not obviously not been blocked yet, so they may loosen up with blocking, and um, I am going to rework the pattern anyway. I say pattern, I literally am making this up as I go along. Um, so I'm going to rework it with different yarn, um, and see if I can come up with a better concept. Because they're fine, they're trying out a few different stitches, but they're not amazing. Um, the numbers aren't quite right. Um, I'm not sure that the combination of bands is working the way that I'd intended. Um, but it's my first foray into coming up with a pattern for myself anyway. And it's not like I'm I'm looking to sell patterns or anything. That's, that's not my aim. At least not at the moment. Okay, so next I'm going to show you um, a test knit that I'm working on that I do have permission to share. Uh, this is due in the middle of January, so I do have a bit of time to finish it still. Um, but I am quite hopeful that with the end of term being next week, that I'll get it done uh, before New Year, if not before Christmas. So this is uh, Amina Philip design. Um, I've tested a few things for her now. Um, I've knit quite a lot of her. Well, I say quite. A lot, I've knit a few of her sock patterns. Um, I've got a shawl of hers on the needles as well at the moment that's just been overtaken by test knits and things. Uh, but hopefully that'll get finished before the end of January. Um, so last time I showed it, you can see that progress keeper just there. Uh, that's where I'd got to. So I've not done a huge amount since because gift knitting took over. 
um, but I've done a few repeats a split for the sleeves um, and I've got probably about 10 stripes to do now 10 or 11 stripes to do before I start bringing the cables back in uh, so it's got this small cable pattern down the raglan increases and that then goes down the side of the body before curling back in just before the hem ribbing uh, so I'm hopeful to get that done uh, fairly soon um, at least the body done by Christmas and then sleeves between Christmas and New Year maybe and then I need to come back and pick up for the neckband so that's going to meet deadline absolutely no question that'll be done um, it's in Cascade 220 which is a super wash yarn it's a fingering weight um, it's solid colours which is fine for stripes uh, would be fine for colour work um, I'm not sure I would want to do inches and inches and inches of stocking stitch in a single solid colour um, I tend to prefer the more um, heathered colours for plain stocking stitch um, that being said my throwback was all solids and that was fine but then it was a worsted weight sweater so it does knit up quite quickly um, but yeah I'm quite pleased with the, the, the wool it's quite soft on the hand so it feels quite nice um, and the only other thing that I'm going to show you this week is something that I'm just sort of dabbling in um, if you remember a few weeks ago when I went up to my dad's for half term I picked up from Hobbycraft some needle felting kits uh, so this is one of them I picked up some polar bears I just picked up a sewing uh, partridge in a pear tree um, kit I was intending to get them done for this Christmas but realistically I think it's going to be next Christmas uh, but I thought to have a go at the needle felting I haven't done much needle felting in the past um, I'm making a start with this little guy here little fox um, I've picked these ones because they're not massively massively Christmassy so if I end up making them through the new year um, and using them around the house as, as ornaments rather than on the tree that's fine because they're not super super Christmassy whereas the polar bears really are um, the partridge and the pear tree stuff won't take long to do so I might get that done once terms out depending on how the um, test net's going and the birthday net so if I just empty out my little package into my lap um, I can show you what you get inside so you get everything that you need for the three creatures you get a little packet with thread for whiskers string for hanging up and there are either eyes or noses or something in there and um, you get a chunk of polystyrene which you use as a felting mat um, and you also get two felting needles so they're quite long and pointy they do have teeny tiny barbs on them which helps sort of mat the um, the wool together you get some polystyrene shapes to put your body around you get two of these, one for the deer, one for the fox so I've already started using one of those you get one of these for the squirrel and then you get two heads one for the deer, one for the fox, I think this one's for the fox and this one's for the deer um, then you get a whole bunch of roving which I've left in its packaging uh, roving is unspun wool and it's what you use for felting um, I, most of the time when I look at felting kits I see um, merino being used for the roving um, but I've heard Coradel can be quite good as well so I've taken out the orange roving as my little chappy here is very orange so I'm starting with that and I've been wrapping it around the polystyrene shape taking my felting needle and just stabbing so he's almost at a point where I'm happy with him we're starting to see the needle felting texture coming through he is still a little bit soft and fuzzy um, so I've still got a little bit of work to do and um, that took me a couple of hours last night um, so this isn't a quick craft um, or at least it isn't for me um, you don't have to use the polystyrene body forms um, when I've done my research on YouTube a lot of the time they're using um, yarn as a body form or they're just using the roving itself to create the shapes which is what I've done in the past I've just used roving on its own rather than having a form to put um, your work around um, so yeah it's a slow craft but it's quite therapeutic you get to stab stuff so that's pretty cool um, so that's all I have to show you this week um, I am planning on doing another video next week um, between 
um, end of term and going away so probably over the weekend just before I go up to dad's for Christmas um, we're traveling up on Christmas Eve um, and then another one between Christmas and New Year after I get back which will probably be the December roundup not that there'll be masses and masses of stuff to show you because December's busy um, but hopefully I'll have a few finished projects for that between Christmas and New Year or betwixt us um, period um, I do have some fabric on the way from Minerva Craft for that um, period as well to do another blog post for them uh, my first blog post for Minerva is due out next weekend I believe so I'll keep you posted over on Instagram when that goes live um, in the meantime I hope all your Christmas preparations are going to plan and you're not being too uh, frantic and running around like a headless chicken um, as we all tend to do at this time of year and I will see you next week bye bye <laughs>